All right, folks, welcome back to the Roller Martin Show. Uh, glad to be with you. So we um, are talking the VP debate. VP debate. And uh, last night we saw the uh, candidates do what they do. Um, it, it was... I don't know how I, how I would frame it in terms of what we witnessed. Um, contentious, obviously, obviously. But also a bit confusing. I don't know about you. A bit confusing. I mean, you, you saw them going back and forth, duking it out. Um, but it was, it was but it, at, at times it was weird, um, the back and forth. So let me, um, let me, uh, let, let me go ahead and lay this out. So we would, so when we would, cause this is the thing for me as I, as I look at this debate, as I looked at um, these guys going back and forth. At some point, when did just, you know, just keep lying. Just just sort of make up as much stuff as you could. That's what I thought was was kind of a, kind of interesting, kind of strange. Uh, again, contentious, yeah. So, let, so let's, uh, let's play some of the sound bites from uh, last night. Okay. Gentlemen, the Nixon the standard, people at home cannot understand some... either one of you when you speak over each other. I would please ask you to wait until it is that the other is finished. <laughs> Donald Trump must give the American public his tax returns to show that he's qualified to be president <laughs> and he's yeah. breaking his promise. You can roll out the numbers and, and the sunny side, but I gotta tell you, people in Scranton are no different. People in Fort Wayne, Indiana, no different. And the answer to this economy is not more taxes. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Senator. These guys have praised yeah. Vladimir Putin as a yes, great leader. How, how can they that, defend Senator, that? Which ends, well, Senator, I must have hit a, a, I, yeah, I must have hit a nerve here Why because you know there's an old proverb that says the Russian bear never dies; it just hibernates. And the truth of the matter is, the weak and feckless foreign policy of Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama has awakened an aggression in Russia. Senator, if your son or my people, son handled classified information the way Hillary children, Clinton did, they'd be court-martialed. He's called women slobs, pigs, dogs, disgusting. He went after John McCain, a POW, and said he wasn't a hero because he'd been captured. Uh, there they go again. I have said to Governor Pence, I can't imagine how you can defend your running mate's position on one issue after the next. But again, and yet, he is asking everybody to vote for somebody that he cannot defend. Just trying to keep up with the insult-driven campaign on the other side of the I, I, You know, I'm just saying facts about your running mate. Yeah. Now, okay, now, that was hilarious. To listen to Mike Pence complain about insults, I was like, dude, really? 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 Okay, and there was a point when uh, the, the two of them would not let the other person talk. And I hate when this happens on television. And I sure as heck hate, hate when it happens in the debates uh, where these guys just, I mean, again, uh, Elaine Keanu just sitting there, she could have just been a, a block of cheese as far as they were concerned because they were not going to stop talking. Uh, check this out. Ukraine or now their heavy-handed approach. You, you, you both, their heavy-handed approach. You, you both have said Vladimir Putin. Well, gentlemen, we're going to get to Russia in just a moment. In this country. 
industry and, and paid a few taxes and lost a million a dollars a year. You, and you are Donald Trump, uh, donor, Trump's apprentice. Uh, uh, let, let me talk about this Senator, issue I think, of the, of I think the state I'm still of the world. on my time. Well, I think, are, isn't this a discussion? This is our yeah. open discussion. Let, let's talk well, about the well, state, state of let me, the world. Let me interrupt you, let me interrupt you no. and finish my sentence if I can. While she was Secretary okay, of State, now I can she had a private now, no, server I, I get to weigh in. that was discovered that pay-to-play process out of the reach of Pence, because well, Hillary Clinton you failed to, to renegotiate. More, more American troops Hillary right, Clinton, you can, Hillary you can Clinton, propose that. Right. Hillary Clinton failed to renegotiate a status of forces agreement. No, that is incorrect. Gentlemen, and so we removed we removed all of our moment. troops from Iraq, and ISIS like was able to be conjured up in that vacuum but, but I'd like to and overrun vast areas Governor, of Iraq. Okay, Th that was a headache. And and the thing that I kept saying is, you okay. Just let it come to you. Just let it come to you. You ain't got to force it. Let it come to you. That's all you got to do. I, I, I felt that in the first 30 minutes of the debate, Tim Kaine was pressing far too much. He was pressing. He could have simply let it come to him and... Again, he's playing the attack dog. I get it. I just don't think it played well at home. And I think that's one of the reasons why so many people said that Mike Pence won the debate, but he didn't win no substance. Check this out. Criminal justice about, is about respecting the law and being respected by the law. So there is a fundamental respect issue here. And, and I just want to talk about the tone that's set from the top. Donald Trump during his campaign has called Mexicans rapists and criminals. He's called women slobs, pigs, dogs, disgusting. I don't like saying that in front of my wife and my mother. He attacked an Indiana-born federal judge and said he was unqualified to hear a federal lawsuit because his parents were Mexican. He went after John McCain, a POW, and said he wasn't a hero because he'd been captured. He said African Americans are living in hell. And he perpetrated this outrageous and bigoted lie that President Obama is not a U.S. citizen. If you want to have a society where people are respected and respect laws, you can't have somebody at the top who demeans every group that he talks about. And I just, again, I cannot believe that Governor Pence will defend the insult-driven campaign that Donald Trump has run. That was one of the strongest parts of the debate for, for Sarah Kane. Then, of course, you had uh, Mike Pence who needed to respond to that. And this was bewildering because he acted as if Trump has not unleashed his own flurry of insults. Donald Trump is, quote, thoughtful, compassionate, and steady. Yet 67% of voters feel he is a risky choice. And 65% feel he does not have the right kind of temperament to be president. Why do so many Americans think Mr. Trump is simply too erratic? Well, let me, let me say first and foremost that uh, uh, Senator, you and Hillary Clinton would know a lot about an insult-driven campaign. And it really is remarkable. At a, at a time when literally, in, in the wake of Hillary Clinton's tenure as Secretary of State, where she was the architect of the Obama administration's foreign policy, we see entire portions of the world, particularly the wider Middle East, literally spinning out of control. I mean, the situation we're watching hour by hour in Syria today is is a result of the failed foreign policy and the weak foreign policy that Hillary Clinton helped lead in this administration and create. Uh, the newly, newly emboldened the aggression of Russia, whether it was in uh, Ukraine or now their heavy-handed approach. You, you, you their heavy-handed approach. You, you both have said Vladimir Putin well, is on that we'll get to Russia in just a moment, uh, but I do want to get back to the but question. But in the midst of yeah, Elaine, yeah, but, thank you. But, thank, but, you. But, thank you. Thank you, Senator. These guys have praised yeah. Vladimir Putin as a yes, great leader. How, how can they that, defend Senator. that? We yeah. do have yeah. that uh, mm -hmm. coming up here. Pence never answered her question. Because he could not answer her question. Pence could not answer that because he know it has been true. He knows point blank. Point blank. 
He knows point blank that he can't answer it. Tim Kaine also hit Donald Trump over his taxes. I'll have that when we come back. You can weigh in, 844-736-7474. 844-736-7474. This is Roland Martin Show. Back in a moment. Call 844-736-7474 and talk to Roland Martin next. We'll be back. Can you tell if the surfaces in this kitchen are crawling with bacteria that could cause chronic arthritis? Listen. Can't, can you? You can't see it either. Wash surfaces, utensils, and hands frequently with soapy water while preparing food, especially when handling raw meats or eggs. Raw food may contain bacteria that can make you very sick or worse. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year, and roughly 3,000 will die. But you can keep your family safer by cleaning with soap and water as you go. Learn more about this and other important information. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. That's foodsafety.gov. Hey, don't A public service don't announcement good. brought to you by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and the Ad Council. Hey, there he is. How's it going? I'm having a stroke. Are you going to shake my hand or what? I'm having a stroke. Wow, you're not even moving your arm. I'm having a stroke. Are you okay? I'm having a stroke. Your face looks weird too. I'm having a stroke. Are you having a seizure or something? I'm having a stroke. When someone is having a stroke, they may not be able to say it with words, but their body language will tell you loud and clear. I'm having a stroke. You just need to know the sudden signs. Look for FAST, F-A-S-T, F, face drooping, A, arm weakness, or S, speech difficulty, then T, time. Time to call 911 immediately, because the sooner they get to the hospital, the sooner they'll get treatment, and that can make a remarkable difference in their recovery. Know the sudden signs, face, arm, speech, time. Spot a stroke, FAST. Visit strokeassociation.org. Brought to you by the American Stroke Association and the Ad Council. What up, my people? Yes, oatmeal. Yes, indeedy. Pretty cool. Very good. It's all good. Are y'all hearing me uh, on Facebook? Y'all should. You should. Oatmeal is mushy. Um, yeah. It is. Yes, I'm sporting my Texans gear. Don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. This month's actually wearing some Falcons gear. I ain't from Atlanta. Why am I going to wear some Falcons gear? No. Ain't going to happen. Not today. Can't be hating on oatmeal. Somebody said it's true. Oatmeal is good for the cholesterol. Almost back from break. T 
Ta Welcome back to the Will Martin Show. Taxes, taxes, taxes. Uh, that kept coming up um, in last night's debate. And Tim Kaine certainly wanted to hit uh, Donald Trump as much as he could on the issue of not revealing his taxes. Governor Pence had to give Donald Trump his tax returns to show he was qualified to be vice president. Donald Trump must give the American public his tax returns to show that he's qualified to be president and is breaking his promise. Elaine, I have to respond to this. I'll be very respectful. Governor. Look, Donald Trump has filed over 100 pages of financial disclosure, which is what the law requires. But he said he and the American people returns. can review that, and he's going, Senator, All right, he's gentlemen, going to release his tax to returns when the audit Social Security. is over. Richard, Richard Nixon released tax returns when They're he was under audit. Raise your tax Gentlemen, if you can't meet the Nixon standard, people at home cannot understand some... either one of you when you speak over each other. I would please ask you to wait until it is that the other is finished. All right, Senator we're having Kane, fun up here. On the issue of Social Security. Well, Kane said they're having uh, fun up here, but the bottom line is they really weren't. Um, that was, I mean, again, it, it, Elaine was like, they were like, whatever, whatever. She should have said... Both of you, stop it. Stop acting like children. 